So you're trying to figure out what the most expensive items to loot and what you should be looting for money. So I'm going to show you all those things right now. So on screen, you can see a bunch of items. The least expensive are at the top and the most expensive are at the bottom. The items in the very first row at the top, I don't think you should pick up. Anything after that, you can pick up. Now I am going to hover my mouse over each item just to show you how much each is worth. And the amount of money you see may not be the amount of money that you get from them because I have a max skill in Charisma. So this will increase the value of items. Okay, so that's it for these items, but now we can move on to gun attachments and how much they are worth. So you can see I have a few attachments on here, but I do have to explain them. So the attachments at the top row are obviously suppressors, all of those, but the suppressors at the very top are pistol suppressors. So those ones are not worth picking up. Anything with an assault rifle caliber, something that's not a pistol, those suppressors will be worth a lot more and will be worth picking up. If we continue down the list, we'll get to different attachments. So this little thing next to the suppressor right here, this is a P90 attachment rail. This is worth picking up. It's about 990 for me. But if we keep continuing down, we can then go to what sites you should pick up. And there, there are currently only two sites I recommend you pick up for money. That is the Leon Scope and this red dot. Then if we move on to stocks, so what stocks should you pick up? I'd recommend you pick up this EC stock right here, and then any stock that has TR15 in the first part of the name. So that's all the stocks you should pick up. And again, I might have missed something in this list, like I, I probably did, but this is what I could find. So moving on to lights and laser attachments, none of them are worth picking up except for the modern tactical torch. Now we can look at foregrips. So the foregrips you're gonna be worth picking up is every single foregrip except for these two right here. Now on to pistol grips. The best pistol grips to look out for are ones with TR15 in the beginning of the name. And those are the only pistol grips I'd recommend. And again, I could have missed something, but this is what I could find. So every pistol grip with TR15 in the name. So these are all the items you should be prioritizing over other items. But now I'm gonna show you exactly where I think you should loot on the map, what I personally think is the best place to loot. There is one problem with this, you do need a lot of stuff. So the first things you're gonna need are all of these keys. And you also need a good gun and good ammo for this map we're gonna to go to. If you don't have all of this stuff, in the future I am gonna make a map guide on what you should loot on each map. I am gonna do that in the future and I will leave a link to that in the description below when I release it. But for right now, if you have all this stuff, I am going to show you what I think is the best place to loot, and that is the map mall. But before you go to the mall, you do need, like I said, all of these keys. And the first key is the extraction key for the mall. So to get this key, you need to kill Keba. I am going to show that because it plays into how to make the most money on the map mall. So for the other three keys, these can all be found in the same place. Unfortunately, these are found through filing cabinets and they can be found in bags. So to get these, you have to be lucky. But the names of each of these, I'm just going to scroll over each and you can read them for yourself. So like I said, we start on the map mall and we go to this location right here on the map. Once you're there, just enter the mall, go up and to the left over here. And you'll see this orange store. I don't really know how to say the name. But go inside of there. And there's actually safes inside you can loot. Don't forget to loot the cash register right here like I did. Now the safes inside of here are randomly generated in different spots and how many there are. So you may get none. You may get a ton. But one of the spots for the safes in here, you don't need a key. So it's just over there. And then the other spot, you do need the key, the orange key. So you can open that up and there should be a good amount of safes. So now you can exit the store and go to the right and then go up. Now, before you go up, this is the part where we're going to fight a boss. The name is Kiba and he's very tanky. So if you don't have the right ammo, he'll probably end up killing you. The reason why we're killing him is because he has a couple things on him. So number one, he has that extraction key, which is uh, very important to make this a very fast loot run. And the other key he has on him is the key to the gun store and that has a ton of lootables in it so we definitely want to get that key that key is one use only so every time you do this run you do have to kill the boss 
and he also has a ton of money making things on him as well so with that in mind we're gonna find him and kill him and i'm also at the same time gonna take you on the right path to where all the good loot is so continue going up from where i said and up here you can actually find the boss kibba he will be around this area mine was at this area up here so i fought him and killed him also another thing make sure you take his gun and put it in your second gun slot this will make sure that the gun is weightless since gun slots don't have weight added to them yet but anyways if you come up here and you don't see him he actually could be hidden to the top right up here by the sushi shop so look up there and if you don't see him up there come back down and go to the left over here and then go up from here and up this long hallway he actually can spawn in it so be careful not to get caught out once you get to the top, he can actually spawn to the left all the way down there, and he can spawn to the right all the way down here. If you check both of those places and you still can't find him, he can actually spawn inside the gun shop right here, and he can spawn at the back of it. So that's all the places I've ever found Kibba. If they update this in the future, I will upload a new video explaining how to farm Kibba and leave a link in the description below. So when you are up here, we're gonna loot the gun store and we're also gonna loot the tech store. Both of these stores have keys in them. So the gun store obviously has that key card we got off of Kibba. This is located at the top left of the gun store right there. So loot all this up and then come over to the tech store and the tech store will have a bunch of electronic boxes and it will also have a door in the back and the key to that is the key to the tech store. So loot all this up and then exit the tech store or the gun store and go to the right down here. Sorry for the darkness all of a sudden, my game ended up crashing. When you keep going to the right, you're gonna go down from here. And against this wall, you will see like a white spot and that's actually uh, the escalators. So you can go down them. So you're definitely gonna need some kind of flashlight or night vision for this. Down here are two keys. The first key we're gonna go to is the key to the office room in the mall basement. So it's very easy. All you have to do is just go down over here and go to the left, and this is actually the place right here. You should pass one opening, and then the second opening, you go in and just go up, and there will be the door for that key. Inside of here are a ton of filing cabinets, and there are three safes as well. So now we're gonna go over to the extraction, and this extraction requires the extraction key. So exit the place you came in and go to the right. And really all you have to know is the place we're going to is the very top right of the entire mall basement. So it's pretty easy to find. When you are at the very top right, you will see this hallway. Actually, before you go in the hallway, there can be an electric box right here so you can loot that. But go into the hallway and this is actually your extraction. There are some filing cabinets in here if you wanna loot them. But anyways, at the end of this, you will reach this door. Just open it with the extraction key and then now you can extract. So that's pretty much it for this video. I tried to put everything I could think of and that's pretty much it. Bye.